Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud AC. Microsoft recently announced a new feature called Microsoft Azure Firewall. It is an optional and extra set of security feature added to your Cloud VPC. It makes more secure the cloud environment. In this video, I will explain you about the difference between network security group that is called NSG and the Microsoft Azure Firewall. What is Azure Firewall and what is NSGs? Before getting into the topic, let me tell you what is Stateless Firewall. Stateless Firewall is a simple rule set which restrict or block the packet based on source and destination IP address. Basically, they are not aware of the traffic patterns or the data flow from where it originates and where it goes. And it also filters the malicious and untrusted packets based on the source and destinations. In other words, it is also called as ACL, Access Control List. I can just give you an example in your real life, what we face every day. We go to office, uh, we swipe your card in the swiping machine and we get into our cubicle. While going, we take along a bag and wallet, but the security doesn't check what is available or what we carry inside our bag. The same way stateless firewall does not check what we carry but we know we are coming from a home and entering to office so so it we just get into the office by swiping on the swiping machine so it has the database of our ID card so it knows when we swipe it okay we are allowed to go into the office the same way the stateless firewall works in the same functionality the port the rules set knows where you're coming from, where the traffic coming from, and where the destination, and sees the port number, and it allows. So in Azure, the stateless firewalls is nothing but NSCs. It works in layer four functionality. The security groups are associated with virtual machines and the virtual subnets. If I want to be very clear, NSG rules can be applied on the subnets or on the NIC levels. NIC levels means network interface card for each VMs. But in general practice, the energies are recommended to apply on the subnet level because when it comes to manageability and when it comes to troubleshoot, the energy on the VMs become so difficult. Okay, if I want to give a summarize, energies are layer four. It works. In the model of checks the source and destination allows the traffic it does not do any packet inspections okay what is stateful firewall uh, azure firewall which is a new functionality which was announced by microsoft in june 2018 so stateful firewalls can watch the tra traffic streams from end to end and it is also aware of the communication path and where it can be implemented. Basically, stateful firewalls are layer 7 and it intelligently detects the content of network traffic. I can take you to the same example what we saw in stateless firewall. We go to office every day by carrying our bags and wallet. Now, when we enter into office, when we swipe the machine, security stops and checks what is available in the bag, what we carry inside our cubicle. He checks everything. He makes sure nothing is carried into our cubicle. The same way when we come out, he checks the same thing. The same functionality happens in stateful firewall. So when you define your source and destination, it checks the traffic incoming and outgoing. It also checks the intrusion packets also, meaning it checks the deep packet inspections. It is a layer seven protocol. So by the time you would be knowing what is the difference between NSCs and Azure Firewall. So in upcoming videos, I would explain in more about how we are implementing this NSCs and how we are implementing this Azure Firewalls. Thank you so much. Hello guys. 
I hope you understood the difference between NHG and Azure Firewall. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, clarification, please do a comment below this video. See you in the next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.